What we have here is Horus, Guardian of the Pharaoh, one six scale action figure from a TB League, formerly known as Fison. Hello, folks, Denobi2 here. Uh, thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. On this episode, we are going to be visiting the world of TB League. Fison, love it, love it, love it. Their Egyptian line. Uh, this is their uh, interpretation, uh, taking creative license and making their own version of Horus, the Egyptian god, the sky god. Look at this box. Look how beautiful this looks. Simply magnificent. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, there's two versions of Horus, uh, Guardian of the Pharaoh. There is the gold version and then there is the silver version. In my review, we will be taking a look at the gold. I did not buy the silver version. It's pretty much the outfit that uh, separates it. That's the, uh, the artwork on the box. And uh, I do have Anubis. They did create another Egyptian god, Anubis. And uh, he, there he is. Uh, he's posing with the, uh, the Queen of the Vampire, Arkala. I, I love it. I really was blown away with the amount of detail uh, and, uh, and value that you're able to get with TB League, Fison, when they, when they take the creative license and they make these, these offshoot characters. Uh, for a buck seventy-five. Uh, I mean, it's it's incredible. It's a, a big difference, a big fraction from the uh, from the other uh, from the other guys from Hot Toys and Blitzways and so forth. So I, I love it. The fact that you're able to get this unique experience. And I, when I'm done with uh, with my figure, with uh, with Horus, he will go down into the little Egyptian little tomb there that I'm my little diorama with. Uh, with Gethsemane and uh, Court of the Dead, and there's Doctor Jones and uh, <laughs> and a few other uh, uh, characters there, and that's where they'll I'll end up posing them uh, at the end of the video. Now, let's get back to the uh, the unboxing here. I uh, again the experience. I love that you're able to get such a phenomenal experience with Tibi Lee. A little instructions on here. A very cool guide uh, showing you on how to handle the figure and making sure that you don't break it and so forth. I would actually prefer that they included instructions on, on actually how to dress the character, and they don't do that. So I always end up using uh, actual photos, the, the prototype photos, to dress the actual character or the figure. Uh, start from the top there. Look at the foam. Love the foam. TB League is probably one of the last few companies that uh, when they uh, when they ship out the figure, they still include the foam box. Love it. I wish, I really wish the figures would still include the foam. You get two included head sculpts here of uh, Horus. Let's get it, take a look here, pop them open. And uh, it has like the Predator dreads on there. <laughs> it's just pretty badass. Uh, blown away, simply blown away. Again, for the value, for the price point on this, this is, it's stunning. It's really, really hard. To uh, to really take him down a peg, to really be be negative, or, or I, because again, for uh, for in, in in this market, the fact that you're able to get this unique experience for $175 is just incredible. Two head sculpts, uh, paint application, beautiful. Uh, look at the detail on that, and uh, a little moon moon symbol on there. Uh, Horus is again is the uh, sky god. And uh, the, the, I think the legend is that one eye would, his left eye would be the sun and the right would be the moon. Maybe that's why they created two different versions. Maybe I have the moon version of Horus and then the silver version would be the representation of the sun. Kind of unique. I don't know, I might still end up picking the, uh, the other version. So let's, let's get the body out here. Remove the little foam inserts out there. And uh, this is the, I want to say this is the M M35 body, the super large M35 body. And you can see, see I'm already annoyed. This, this sucks because the way he was packaged in there, uh, he ended up creased in his, uh, his, uh, his skirt. Actually, in the instructions, it's called a battle skirt. But uh, looking at the, uh, the sleeves on there, I like the weathering on there. But the battle skirt is not aligned properly and it's... There's crease and folded. It's just it wasn't put in the box right, and that kind of sucks. It really does. I could fix them, but I shouldn't have to take the time to uh, to fix them. There's a little tips and tricks that you can do. You can uh, spray it with uh, warm, watered down fabric softener, and then blow dry it to kind of straighten it back out. 
Uh, you can do that. Uh, put him on there. He does have the, the black briefs on there to prevent. Oh, there you go. Yeah, trying to adjust the uh, the folds and the creases on there. But yeah, he does have the uh, black underwear. If you're curious, uh, he is not anatomically correct. Uh, the M35 bodies, when you buy them with the, uh, the tan and so forth, they do come with additional accessories. I guess if you wanted to uh, complete this version, you could. It's not like anybody would to see, right? unless you wanted to have him in his birthday suit, but otherwise you can still complete him with uh, additional parts. Uh, I like the feet. Look at the look at the sculpt on that feet. That's the other thing too, since this is a a, a falcon a human hybrid of a god. Got the talons on there, and I'm gonna have to adjust the uh, the little skirt. Well, not the skirt, the uh, the socks on there to kind of create the illusion of, of blend in. Little calf guards on there. Little shin guards on there. Kind of adjust that accordingly, just to. So it just blends a little bit better. That's cool. It is. Uh, it's pretty neat. A little weather on there. Just take your time. Uh, Fice and bodies uh, typically have over 30 points of articulation. Uh, stainless steel body, armature. Well, stainless steel armature uh, uh, wrapped in a uh, silicone uh, mixture of, of rubber. I want to say they started. It's more of a rubber. It doesn't dry out. Uh, you just want to be careful. Don't do any ex super extreme dynamic poses. And if you do, don't keep it in that position for a very long time. Because after a while, they, they, the skin will actually uh, the tear on it. Uh, it still holds out pretty. I mean, it, it takes a long time. Say if you kept them in a really super dynamic pose, probably six months to a year, you might start to see a, 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 a small tear. Now, the collar guard here uh, wasn't placed properly into the foam so there's a little bit of bending on there the there you go the gauntlets on there the gauntlets came on the like paint application the gauntlets came out really nice uh, I'm actually kind of blown away with the uh, the extra pair of hands there uh, four fingered uh, claws I don't know if you know if you can would call these a, a claw a, a hand or more of a like a like a talon type claw look to it Still impressive though the fact that there is a little ring on there, a little extra detail to the hands, very nice. And uh, with TB League, there's always a second layer, and that's where you'll find the uh, uh, additional accessories. You got the staff, the Horus staff there, which I thought they did a beautiful job on the paint on this. The colors on this is just really really nice, I like that a little Egyptian motif on there. You got the the sword and then the cape. I forgot this came with the cape. See, uh, uh, Anubis didn't come with the cape. I, I probably would have looked a lot more, uh, more badass with the cape. I like the cape. It's a two-layer cape. Uh, the polyester, uh, uh, that, uh, touches the skin is, is more likely to, it's more likely less to stain versus the cloth that the black ink on there would actually, it touches the, uh, the Fison body would stain. But this, Material feels more of a, of a polyester blend on there. And the uh, the insert versus the outer is more of a cotton, woven cotton with the uh, with the gold trimmings on there. So that's cool. So they are taking into account that uh, that yeah, you know, uh, fison uh, silicone bodies are more prone to stain, and so you just have to be careful as to what uh, what type of articles of clothing you're gonna you're gonna use on them. These are the bicep jewelries on there. The attention to detail right there look at that and again the instructions are, are, are useless because uh, I had to uh, resort to um, uh, the actual prototype photos to, to dress them up and uh, you can see I'm just showing you from this angle the little uh, plastic pips on there and what I did is, is I, I, I put them I used clamps I used like a woodworking clamp and put them in front of a, of a heater uh, to, to, to bend them back uh, just kind of showing you what it looks. Even I, it actually uh, is positioned opposite. But I just wanted to show you that the collar wasn't uh, inserted right. And and again, it's it's not the product. It's just the way it was assembled. Should have been assembled a lot better. And putting in the, the biceps on there, getting that slipped in. And you want to take your time on there. This, this takes a little bit. And that's how you would actually put the the jewelry on the bicep right there. Make sure it's positioned accordingly. And I 
I do like the uh, the phrase of a uh, of little string phrase on there, kind of giving it that weathered Egyptian look. And again, I keep going back to like the battle skirt because it, it kind of bugs the hell out of me. I can fix it. It's just it just annoys me. You know, honestly, if I have to say anything negative about this this figure, it's just the way it was assembled. I mean, the way it was positioned inside the the, the foam insert. Uh, everything else on it, I I just I love. I think it's great, but they should have probably taken a little bit extra care and and in, in packaging the actual figure because that sucks. <laughs> it really does. I mean, I can fix it, but I shouldn't have to take the time to fix the battle skirt and uh, and uh, it, it just it just it's annoying. Uh, taking the claws on here or the the hands, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pose them. With the uh, with the staff first, and again, look at the the detail and, and the paint weathering on this staff. It's just incredible. It really is. I just love it. And now, uh, right at the very tip, and it's just cool. I mean, it, it helps sell. It really does help sell the illusion of an Egyptian god. It really is. I don't have Cleopatra though. Uh, look at that. So I'm just showing you there. That I ended up did fixing them and. Position him the uh, the collar accordingly, but yeah, there is a Cleopatra TB League. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. I'm kind of getting swamped with pre-orders right now. I may consider getting Cleopatra just to complete the whole Egyptian line. Oh, look at that head. Look at that. It's showing you on there. You do want to apply pressure to it, and that way it uh, it sticks to the ball joint. Overall, it's it's you know what. And if you, can you see like the imperfections on the skin there on the on the chest? That does that's that's actually pretty neat too. Uh, giving it that uh, rare uh, battle look to him. I like it. I really am. I'm really really impressed by this. I I hope they keep creating more of the Egyptian gods out there. And 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 it doesn't have to be Egyptian. I would, maybe they might uh, explore other venues like the Viking gods or things like that. Um, it's nice. It really, really is nice. Uh, uh, positioning him right next to Anubis too at the very end is pretty cool too. Uh, it's it's worth a buy if if you uh, really get a kick out of these creative li with the creative license that TV League is taking uh, with this. Uh, it's it's worth it. I really, really do. I'm just blown away by it. I just it's just an awe, especially with that especially that they include an extra head too. It's really, really nice. That being said, though, I will position him. Uh, gonna display him, in my little Egyptian tomb, in my Maju case, and hopefully I, I will have enough time later on, maybe in the next coming weeks, to build my little tomb here, uh, where all the gods are hanging out, and the demons, and the vampires, and and uh, instead of having Jones watch from the corner there, maybe. Uh, <laughs> haven't participate not exactly sure but this was fun this was fun I get a kick of uh, these uh, exotic characters that TV League is doing and the fact that they've partnered up with uh, Sideshow's World 2 it's, it's cool I'm digging it like subscribe leave your comments below this was super fun